Hi, Sai. Hi. Ibam has recently asked this question in the second round of interview. Can you explain? Okay. The output for this question will be 1, 3 and 2. You need to remember two points. And the first point is JavaScript will execute the synchronous code first. And then it will execute all the asynchronous code. Okay. Then how JavaScript will handle this type of execution? By using this call stack, event loop and micro task queue or macro task queue. So you can see this. This is a call stack. And we have micro task queue here. This is the macro task queue. And this is loop, event loop. Okay, if you remember this, I have said that JavaScript will execute all the synchronous activity first. Now, what is this console.log? Whenever you see the console.log, remember that it is a synchronous activity. So, this console.log is a synchronous activity. Now, this set timeout is an asynchronous activity. So, whenever you see the set timeouts or the promise, remember that it is an asynchronous activity. Now, this console.log is a synchronous activity. Now, what this JavaScript engine will do here is it will push this console.log into this call stack and it will execute it immediately. So, one will be logged into the console. Now what is there here? Set timeout will be there. So set timeout will be pushed into the macro task queue. Remember that, remember this one thing that set timeout will be pushed into the macro task queue, promises will be pushed into this micro task queue. This is very important thing. Now you will be having a question that it is pushed into the micro task queue or macro task queue. But when this will be executed, that is, once all the synchronous activity is executed successfully, this macro task queue and the micro task queues will be executed. Now JavaScript will execute the next line where the console.log is present. So this is synchronous activity. This will be pushed into the call stack and it will be executed immediately. So this will be logged into the console. Now if you see all the synchronous activity is executed successfully. Then JavaScript will check if there is anything waiting in the micro task queue. So here nothing is waiting in the micro task queue. Now JavaScript will move to the macro task queue. Here set timeout is waiting in the macro task queue. So this will be pushed into this call stack and it will be executed immediately and it will log 2 into the console. So the output will be 1, 3 and 2. Where can I get all these practical interview questions and answers? You can get all these interview questions from the link in my bio.